my biggest weapon is just bloody mindedness. Mm. I just, I don't allow myself to think that I might not finish this. Welcome to Film My Run on a beautiful Monday morning. Uh, here we are in Richmond Park. Now, why the heck am I in Richmond Park when I live all the way down on the south coast? Well, I've got a little job to do today. Um, I'm going to interview uh, Vassos Alexander, who uh, some of you may know. Uh, he is running this year's Arc of Attrition and uh, I'm in charge of uh, live streaming for the event. So uh, I thought I'd get a few interviews done with uh, competitors in the event. Um, and Vassos is one of those. So um, I'm going to go and interview him later on this afternoon. But I thought I'd come up early and just get a little run in around uh, Richmond Park because I absolutely love it up here and I haven't been here for a while. Uh, so uh, let's get about 10k done, shall we? And then we'll go and interview Vassos. What an absolutely gorgeous day. There's not a cloud in the sky. Just hit two kilometers. Uh, now climbing the only hill of any significance in Richmond Park. A great marathon to do here, the Richmond Park Marathon. Usually I think about May time, if you want to look it up. Beautiful marathon, really lovely, all the way through this park. Couple of laps. Just over five kilometers in to my uh, little run around Richmond Park. So I'll be going to interview Vassos Alexander in about like an hour and a half's time. If you don't know who Vassos is, currently uh, Vassos is sports presenter for the uh, Chris Evans breakfast show on Virgin Radio. And he's been with Chris Evans basically for a very long time when he was read with Radio 2 as well. But the other thing about Vassos is he is an ultra runner. And a pretty good one as well. And so uh, this year he's going to attempt uh, the Arc of Attrition in Cornwall, which is arguably the toughest 100 mile race in the country. I'm sure those who've run the Lakeland 100 would have something to say about that. Unfortunately, I can't actually take you along with me for the interview. Well, I will take you along, but you won't actually see the interview because that's going to be kept for the arc of attrition footage. If you want to see the interview, it will be broadcast during the live stream of the arc of attrition. So make sure you tune in to the Mud Crew Facebook page or the Mud Crew YouTube channel and you'll be able to see the live stream of the arc of attrition 100. Uh, we're not far away from 10k in now and I may as well tell you what I've got coming up this year seeing as it is January. It's quite packed but a lot of it is stacked towards the end of the year. Uh, we're starting at the end of February beginning of March with Trans Gran Canaria. So Trans Gran Canaria I did a few years ago uh, just before the start of the pandemic. Um, it's 128 kilometers in Gran Canaria, basically from the top of Gran Canaria all the way through the middle to the bottom. Uh, then in April, Victoria and I are joining lots of other Zwift runners uh, as we go and do the Paris Marathon. So we're all going to join together and uh, meet up in Paris and run the Paris Marathon together. So that's going to be lots of fun. And then in May, we're off to Guernsey to run the Guernsey Ultra. I've done that a couple of times before, you may have seen the videos. I'm gonna try and go a bit quick for that one, I think. Well, I'm gonna try and do my fastest time anyway for that one. So that's the Guernsey Ultra in May. Uh, what's next after that? Lakeland 100 is probably the next one. So I've been trying to get into the Lakeland 100 mile race for many years. Um, it used to be first come, first serve and the website would crash in an hour. And then it became a lottery system and I didn't get in for the first four years of applying, but I have got in now. 
so that's the Lakeland 100. Following the Lakeland 100, we are all out, basically. At the end of August, I'm making my third attempt at TDS. You may remember the first year I did TDS, I DNF'd. Um, the second year, we never started because it was cancelled because of COVID. The third year, we did start, but we got turned around when tragically one runner fell um, and died on the course. And we all had to turn around and go back the way we came, so we never finished it that year. So this year will be my fourth application, third time of starting, hopefully. Not long after TDS, in September, we then have the Ben Nevis Ultra. Again, another one which I have DNF'd twice. So this will be my third attempt at finishing the Ben Nevis Ultra. A week later, I'm gonna go for a marathon PB in Berlin. And a week after that, <laughs> we've got the London Marathon. I'm just gonna jog around that. Well, provided I get a decent time in Berlin, then we'll jog around the London Marathon. I don't know what I'm gonna do if I don't get a decent time in Berlin. <laughs> because I'm just going to feel like I have to go for it again in London, aren't I? But we'll see what happens. So that's my year, basically. Um, London Marathon is 2nd of October. I mean, I guess we'll probably fit some other runs in, some other races, uh, but that is my year. I think that's it. 12k done. Uh, so we'll walk back to the car and we'll drive over to see Vassos. That bloody tether, when we walk past it, it just turns on and I don't know how to stop that Look, happening. This has got... Can I say wanky on this? Uh, uh, yeah, we'll let you off. <laughs> and no one asked me to become a spy, which I was sort of hoping that that would happen with a Russian Isn't degree. that just I'd normal? I'd be a terrible spy. Yeah. You know, drunk as anything. Sorry, 18, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, I'll edit it out. <laughs> it's a week before. Yeah. That's us. So it's 10 days before. <laughs> it's 10 days ten before. Ten. Which loads plenty of time. time. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I thought it was a week. No, 10 days is fine. It's loads That's of time. Fine. It's loads of time. Sort of my biggest weapon is just bloody mindedness. Mm. I just, I don't, allow myself to think that I might not finish this. That was hilarious. Uh, I have uh, finished interviewing Vassos. We're done. I'm going to drive home, stop for a coffee on the way. Uh, but that is uh, a good afternoon's work done. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it when you see it on the live stream. Uh, he's uh, He can talk and he's got some stories to tell. He's good fun. Uh, so thanks to Vassos for that. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you again for another Film My Run another time. Take care. Bye bye.